Tribute to my friend Leverett Grace Mugane. She left a mark. Hi there. Thank you for tuning in. Last week, I lost a dear friend, Leverett Grace Mugane, and we buried her on Friday. But her memory will remain with me because she left a mark in my heart. I couldn't do my usual topic as if all was well. I decided to share with you my tribute to my friend, Pastor Grace, as I used to call her. This woman of God, Leverett Grace Mogane, played an important role in my life as a friend. She was my friend. She did not judge me. She accepted me as I am. She left a mark in my heart. She used to pray for my work and my business and would say that my calling was for leadership in the marketplace or hers was for leadership in the church. She left a mark. She was the founder and pastor of Gracia Ministries International based in West Trans area of Nairobi in Kenya, where she served with great diligence. My friend, Pastor Grace, was interesting and extremely funny at times. And I said, this part must end in my life. Yes. And I started praying. Yes. Some of you asked, what did I need to come to this size? Nothing. I started dealing with bugs. Yes. And every morning I would wake up and talk to my other brothers and say, I am speaking to you. You are the composed in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She laughed freely and had a great sense of joy and enthusiasm. She was a great example of a joyful life. She left a mark. She was a great story and a funny one too. Listen to her talk about her weight loss journey. Two years ago, I'll give you a story. When I came here, I was size 18 that day. Very big. Come on, give your neighbor high five. Very big. I didn't have a neck. I was, I was a continuous line. Come on, give your neighbor high five. I'm not ashamed of that myself. She also had an international ministry to the United States where she traveled annually and served with commitment for the last 15 years. And occasionally, she would come bearing magnificent gifts, like this beautiful tea set that she gave me. See how beautiful it looks. She was generous. She left a mark.
I have asked people saying that marriage is very good, but the husband. And the goodness ends because of the but. I have heard people saying that church is very good, but. And this morning the Lord spoke to my heart and said, I am removing every but from every person gathered in my sanctuary in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God has created us in the image and in the likeness of God. And the impact of the word but in our lives. And whether we are short or we are tall, whether we know how to laugh or we don't know how to laugh, whether we can make it or we do not make it, we are wonderful and beautifully made. And God does not see any but in us. He sees himself in us. Because the blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So when I am dancing to my God and I am dancing with all that I have and with all that I am, do not tell me you dance so much, but leave me alone. There is no but in my life. Pastor Grace always encouraged and inspired me. We supported each other in many ways, much as we came from different walks of life. She always prayed a blessing for me. Her last message to me a few weeks ago was, Thanks, Kathy. Blessing to you. She left a mark. There is so much more to say. If I was to summarize the qualities of Pastor Grace in a few words, I would say this. It was a great privilege to know you, Pastor Grace. You were a great teacher, mentor, and inspirer. A kind, loving, and caring sister who was authentic and full of excellence. You were faithful and full of integrity. I will miss you dearly. Rest in peace, Pastor Grace. Amazing grace, so sweet the song that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh.